What's up, people? Hey, Yarn. It's me, and we're back. And we are back making music. So today, I'm not doing a how-to anything. I just thought, why not sit down and just have a little bit of a jam session and see what we come up with. So recently, I've been experimenting with a few different styles of music. I've started picking up my guitar a lot. I've probably played it the most in the past year that I've played it since I started playing when I was like 10. Now, if you've been following me on Instagram lately, I've put up a few snippets on my stories of songs I've been working on, and they sort of have the foundations built with the guitar. So I thought today I'd try and run with that style and try and use my guitar to sort of start off a track, and we'll just go from there and see what happens. Might be terrible and might not. So, I mean, 50-50. So I've had this little riff idea for a while and haven't really actioned it into an actual song so I have got a sort of an idea of where I want the song to go based on the riff but yeah I mean you never know with music production you could go absolutely anywhere so first of all let's start up by making a guitar recording track I just downloaded this really good plugin yesterday called Amplitube 5 and it's a essentially a guitar amp VST <laughs> So I don't know how many of you guys are guitar players, but I've been playing since I was 10, but there was a big patch in there where I just didn't play at all. So it's sort of like, I played a lot, I didn't play at all, and then over the last year I've started playing a lot more. And probably my advice to anyone who's played guitar in the past and is thinking about picking it up again is just do it and sort of just have no rules. I think a lot of the time I got too hung up on like playing the basic chords like C, G, D. You know, all those basic things that you get taught when you learn guitar. But the best thing to do is just like play around on the fretboard, you know, just do, do random things and find stuff that sound good because at the end of the day that's all that matters if it sounds good then it sounds good so i need to find what bpm i want to run it at it's a pretty nice tempo that's probably going to work nicely in a edm song if we eventually get there. Right, so let's record some riffs. I might record this in little bits because honestly I don't trust myself. Wow, I screwed it. See what I mean? Rust D. You play it perfectly, as soon as you hit record you can't play it. Gotta remember not to stick my guitar pick in my freaking mouth every time while I'm recording this video. Otherwise, I will talk stupidly the whole time. I want this one on the left, this one on the right. It's gonna give us a nice stereo sound, I hope. Oh my God. That is beautiful. Boys. I really want to start the song as like a rocky sort of emo punk rock type song with like real sounding drums and just guitars and just layers of nice sort of authentic things. Then I think I want to push the song into maybe more of a, an EDM drop with like heavier basses and like heavier synths. Now let's consult the mighty Splice. Now what I want to do is build a realistic sounding drum kit. Let's start with a snare. Oof. Yeah, it's a nice snare. We'll run with that. Now we want to kick. Really like this. I don't know why there's not just a solo one, but I'll just steal it from this loop. I guess when you're trying to make realistic sounding drums, you gotta you gotta sort of think like a drummer. You can't be doing like a cymbal there and a cymbal there and a snare there and a and a hi-hat there and a tom there you can't be like having freaking general grievous arms like freaking doof 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 like general grievous would be an insane drummer but like i don't think there's many general grievouses in the world i kind of want a harder hitting snare All right this is sounding very like emo emo rock
All right, so boot up the trusty stock FL Studio Ibanez. I'm realizing right now that probably 99% of you guys are subscribed to my channel. You probably watch me like make dubstep and uh, drum and bass and future bass and like gritty freaking EDM stuff. And I'm just sitting here like making freaking emo punk rock. Music, man, music, isn't it beautiful? I feel like I need some like top end stuff. My electronic producing instincts are telling me now. Let's put some let's put some atmospheres in there. Let's see what, what should we start with? This one. Yeah. yeah, we'll start with this one. So that's the this the rock beat without the atmospheres. Nice, but feels a bit feels a bit weak and empty. Just throw another one in there for good measure. We've got a pretty nice vibey sort of track here. It's taken a bit of time. I mean, I've been sitting here for like two hours coming up with this. I mean, it's it's fine. It's good. I like it. It's vibey. All right, I'm back. Took a little bit of a break, sort of. Ah, I don't know. I was tossing up whether I wanted to keep going with this, you know. As I went away, took a break. I was like, ah, is this good? Then I sort of made this little build-up section. It's just got some guitar strums, and then with the same drums from like the rest of the track, I just made this little build-up section and put some rises in there. And then I could really envision what the drop would be like. So let's listen to where the build-up is at the moment, and that's where we're gonna go from the drop. So the first thing I want to do is put some drums in and I'm going to go for like a future bassy sort of drop that's still sort of got that rock foundation to it. Build a drop bass. So maybe we'll start off with like a hard serum bass or something. I was playing The Simpsons, bro. C. I think I'll just put in some like thick bases. So I'm going to record this guitar. Instead of doing a chord stack, I'm doing a guitar stack. Who would have thought? Right, I'm gonna throw in an automation here to like put some cuts in. So I reckon we need some like hi-hats and just a bit of high end to like spice it up a bit. Um, it's definitely nowhere near finished, but we're heading somewhere. I'm 
I'm gonna throw some like classic future bass chords in here. Alright, we got some foundations there for the drop. What I want to do now is just add the characters. Like at the moment it has absolutely no character. What I'm thinking is we consult Slice again. Oh my god, that is like the exact, that's the exact sound I had in my brain imagining. This, this what it's all about, please. This is what it's all about. You get somewhere. You get somewhere. Oh, that. This is. Oh, that's just beautiful. That's. Oh, I'm tearing up here. I'm. Te I'm actually tearing up. Boy, he's. I was really thinking that we would get nowhere. I was making this drop and I'm like hyping it up thinking this is probably going to end up in the trash, but we're saved. Now we've got like a good drop and we have like a good verse, but they sort of like don't fit. So I went away and made everything just fit together nicely. I started out by putting the vocal chops filtering in in the build up section. Then I recorded some nicely voiced guitar strums for the drop section. This just made it a whole lot warmer and a lot less harsh on the ears. And I also added just a bunch of other acoustic elements like guitars and rides and this just added to the warmth again. And finally I added some reverb automations just so it wasn't so harsh on the cuts. So that is the track. Obviously there's a lot of things I could do to fix it up and make it a complete song, but for the moment it's sounding really good and I'm really vibing with it. It's been a hell of a ride this video. Honestly there were times where I was just like this is not working and I was about to give up. But I'm glad we stuck through it and it's turned out pretty good. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching me struggle through this one, but sometimes art is just a big struggle so i will see you guys in the next video thank you very very much for watching goodbye